Hello, this is the Boston Teachers Union Teacher Portfolio Project. I'm Mark Lonergan, and this is video number six where we're going to talk about attachments. If you are already friends with Google and your Google Drive, this video is going to be easy. And if you're not very friendly with your Google Drive or Google Docs or Google Slides, then this might be where things get a little challenging. Feel free to pause, take a break, punch a wall if you need to. Um, but let's dive right in. To help you for today, let's think about what it might be like to add a document um, to my portfolio. In the section of the portfolio called Work Samples, that's a great place to include examples of your work. Lesson plans, letters you've sent home, slideshows, videos, anything. Um, I'm going to show you how to include something on the lesson planning tab. Um, parts of this will be review, but that's not horrible either, is it? So I want to add an artifact here. Um, I'm going to start by adding a text box, and this is my statistics lesson plan. And I'm going to introduce title at that, and then I'm going to add a little bit of background info what is it? Why did I choose it? What does it showcase about me? Um, I shouldn't put anything in here that doesn't feel like it's a, a good representation of my skills, but um, I, I, you don't need to wait for me to figure out how to express that on this example. Um, I'm going to take that stats lesson plan and make it, instead of normal text, a subheading, just so it pops out a little bit. And then I would like to put my documents right next to the text. So on the left-hand side, there will be the writing, and then on the right-hand side, people can click and see the actual text. But you feel free to do it however you want. So for me, if I want to put a document right here, I'm going to start by going over to Insert. And then instead of Images, I'm going to go to do From Drive. Now, like I said, if you're friendly with your Google Drive, you may already have your lesson plans or your slideshows as Google Documents. If not, you're going to need to print them as PDF and then upload them to your Google Drive. I did that already with the lesson plan I want to share. I printed it and saved it on my desktop and then uploaded it as a PDF. If you don't remember how to upload, it's new. And then the first choice there allows you to file upload. Let me get out of that. Now, before I go and sh add things to my website, I want to make sure that they are being shared in the right way. So on this document right here, the red PDF box for stats comparing states lesson plan, I'm going to right click and make sure that I'm adjusting the share settings. So I click share and advanced and I want to change the settings so I'm going to click change and allow anyone with the link to be able to view this document. Please make sure you're not sharing confidential information or if you're sharing any information about a student that you are either restricting it to only Boston Public Schools or going in and kind of um, blacking out key details that might reveal anyone's confidential information. So I, for this document, it's just a lesson plan, no personal information. Anyone with the link can view. I click Save and Done. And now I'm going to go back to my template, my website, and add the document. So where did I leave off? I was in the insert mode and then I chose insert from drive and so now it's going to give me my whole drive with access to team drives or documents that have been shared with me and then a sneaky way to do this is if you use the arrow to go over a little bit one of the choices is recent and I just was dealing with that lesson plan so I know it's going to pop up in the recent I can also do the search button if, if I want to instead there's the document I was working with. It's called Stats Comparing States. So I click on it once up here, click
click on it once on the bottom to insert it and it pops up just like that. I can leave it like that. I can adjust it just like an image to make it bigger or smaller. Um, and like I said, I'm kind of fond of having it be right next to the description. So the other thing I can do is grab it and drag it. And you see this light blue will tell me where are the possible places it could end up. And look, when I bring it up next to my description, um, it's going to give me an option to put it right below, which I would not recommend, or put it right next to. That's what I like to do. Uh, the putting it right below just means that they're kind of attached together and sometimes the formatting can come out weird. So now I've got my artifact with my description and the document right next to each other. Publish that and I'm good to go. Thanks for watching and enjoy your upload.